The LD system is designed for power transmission to high current loads in industrial environments. The first step in the installation process is the removal of the flange cover and the protective cover from the trunking unit. In the next step, the protective cover is removed from the single bolt joint. The connector is inserted to connect the unit to the Civicon switchgear. The single bolt joint is tightened with a torque of 80 newton meters. The transport protection is removed from the trunking unit. The trunking unit is now mounted on the wall. For this purpose, it's placed on the previously installed fixing studs. The trunking unit is then attached to the hook of the connector, which ensures correct phase assignment at the junctions between the trunking units. The two trunking units are now secured to each other by means of the flange cover. The single bolt joint is tightened with a torque of 18 newton meters, providing a safe and maintenance-free electrical connection. By replacing the flange cover, the installation is completed. The same steps are now repeated to mount all system elements. To mount the next trunking unit, again first remove the transport protection. The trunking unit, which in this case consists of a junction unit, is placed onto the fixing studs and attached to the hook of the connector. The exposed terminal connection is covered with the flange cover. The single bolt joint is tightened with a torque of 80 newton meters. By attaching the fixing bracket, the system is properly secured to the support structure. To install the tap-off unit, open the locking levers on all sides. To install it to the trunking unit, open the single bolt joint at the tap-off point. The tap-off point is now accessible. Mount the tap-off unit at the tap-off point, then engage the locking levers at the trunking unit and secure them. Tighten the single bolt joint at the tap-off point with 80 newton meters. Civicon, the TTA tested system consisting of Siemens switchgear and Siemens busbar trunking systems.